There are different types of SEO techniques. So one is considered white hat, and this is what confirms with what the search engine's guidelines are. Uh, so no deception and straightforward techniques and practices. So all of this is vetted through search engine like Google and Google will make suggestions on what the best practice is and White Hat simply follows those best practices. And if you're thinking, well, you know, why do we have to listen to Google and what they have to say? Uh, so if you want to go against that, then you'd be considered black hat SEO. And these are people that attempt to improve their rankings in ways that aren't approved by search engines. So a lot of times it involves some deception and it's not as straightforward as simply following what the guidelines are in order to rank better for your content. So when it comes to black hat, we're actually going to talk more about just different black hat techniques as we go through the course. And generally the black hat is going to be stuff that we're going to be telling you through this course to avoid. So usually uh, black hat should be left to very experienced SEOs and really there's a quite a lot of risks involved with going black hat. Uh, so black hat is doing anything from duplicating content to stealing content off of other sites to cloaking, redirecting, uh, stuffing keywords, uh, links, and there's a whole bunch of really uh, techniques that people have come up with and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Sometimes Google will catch them and penalize them and that's the risks that are taken and understood when you're doing deceptive practices that don't follow along with the guidelines that the search engines have laid out. So white hat strategies, these are gonna be relevant. Uh, so they're gonna be uh, referencing uh, good content, uh, standards, compliant HTML pages, unique content, and in general, content that's made for that particular website and not always focused on SEO purposes. It might just be more focused on providing good content and information for the website. Another important thing to note is that when you're working white hat SEO, then you tend to produce results that will last a long time because you're in it for the long run, you're putting your time in and uh, you're getting results over the long run. So black hat techniques, uh, it should be anticipated that your site might get banned, it might get uh, uh, temporarily pulled out of the search engines uh, and there's a whole bunch of bad things that can happen. But on the other hand, you're expecting to see results right away. Uh, so you're not in it for the long term. You want to see results quick and you're doing anything that you can in order to boost up your results and disregarding what the search engine guidelines that have been laid out for you. So that's the difference between white hat and black hat. And then there's also actually in between. So this is what's known as gray hat. And this is maybe a combination of different techniques. Uh, so white hat techniques and then some more controversial techniques.